U.S. deploys additional resources to Middle East due to Iran threat. The Pentagon deploys additional resources to the Middle East as Israel and the United States prepare for a possible Iranian attack on Israeli targets in the country and the region as a whole, according to CNN. According to an anonymous American official, the aim of the move is to bolster regional deterrence efforts and increase force protection for U.S. forces. The Pentagon is working on enhancing the air defense of American troops stationed in Iraq and Syria, which have been subjected to over 100 attacks by Iran-backed proxy forces from October to February. The U.S. does not anticipate Iran to attack American forces in retaliation, but is relocating forces just in case. U.S. President Joe Biden expects Iran to attack Israel sooner than later. I don't want to get into secure information, but my expectation is sooner than later. Biden told reporters when asked how inevitable an Iranian attack on Israel is. He also addressed Iran and said, don't. He also noted that the United States is devoted to the defense of Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel and we will help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed, Biden said. In early April, the Israeli military attacked the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The building was completely destroyed and a high-ranking Iranian general was killed in the attack. Amid this, Iran has repeatedly threatened to retaliate for such a strike. The White House has stated that the threat of an attack on Israel is real. It was reported that on April the 12th, sirens, warning of a missile strike, sounded in northern Israel. Over 50 rockets were launched across the country from Lebanon. The responsibility for the rocket shelling of the Galilee Peninsula was claimed by the Hezbollah group. In its statement, the Lebanese group claims to have launched dozens of Katyusha rockets. A man has died and seven other people, including two children, are hurt after a pylon supporting cable cars collapsed in Turkey for an unknown reason. One of the supports of the Tunikteep cable car fell and one of the moving cabins fell off. The cabin, in which there were eight people, hit an overturned pole and collapsed. People fell onto a rocky area, multiple medical teams and firefighters were sent to the scene. A helicopter was sent to evacuate people from other cabins. Point one person was killed and eight were injured. Anadolu Agency identified the deceased as a 54-year-old Turkish man. The governor's office named Memis Gumas, a Turkish national, as the man who died in the incident and confirmed those who were injured were taken to hospital. Point two children were among the injured in the accident at the Tunikteep cable car. Passengers in some of the facility's 35 other cable car pods were left stranded in mid-air as engineers battled to restart the system. The cable car carries tourists from Kanyualti Beach to a restaurant and viewing platform at the summit of the 618 meters Tunikti Peak. It is run by Antalya Metropolitan Municipality. Thank you. 